My name is Linda Larson LaChapelle. I was born and raised on the island. Lived here from 1944 to 1965. This was the original site of St. Paul down here. My parents were basically dairy farmers, but we also grew uh, corn. They ran 42 head of dairy cattle, and after the cattle were sold off, then there was soybeans. And the land down here, is, because of all the flooding over the years, it's extremely rich. If you look, the dirt is very, very black. We didn't have much, but we had all the relatives loved coming down here because it was a freedom they didn't have in town. The only thing different is we didn't have what the city people had. We didn't have running water. <laughs> We didn't have indoor plumbing. But that didn't bother us because we had so many other things. Before the sewage plant filled in the creek by our house, we used to be able to go out fishing right outside the door. My mother would go out and catch breakfast. And we, all winter long, we was, we'd skate. Didn't have that in town. 1965 was the greatest flood in history here. We knew it was coming because we, on St. Patrick's Day that year, we got like 30, 30 inches of snow or something like that. And um, we didn't have a January thaw. We knew we were going to be in trouble because it just, when it did melt, it came, it hit fast. And we could see the water coming up from our cornfield up, slowly creeping up to our house. It came through the backwater, not over the Mississippi. We had put everything up in the attic of the house because we thought it would just get on the first floor. Then they said it would be the worst flood in history. So my dad and I spent, <laughs> and other relatives came and spent the day Anybody who had a vehicle took whatever they could and we got, had to get it out of the house. And you, you sit there and you look and say, we can't take this, we can't take this. So there's a lot, of, a lot of antiques went, but you had to take just the necessities. And then when we came back, when the water receded, my dad anchored the boat to the chimney of the house. That tells you how deep the water was. And when we came back, there was nothing left. It was destroyed. The house was over 100 years old. And they just couldn't take one more flood. We couldn't, I don't think, create one more flood. <laughs> to this day, it hurts. I looked around. I looked at my, my dad said, you know we can't come back. I said, yep, my life is ending as I do it. You spend 21 years of your life someplace, all of a sudden, it's gone. And there's nothing you can do except say, start all over again. It's hard to see it now, but it was very, very beautiful. And that's why I like to see this place go back to that where people can come down here and enjoy the freedom that we enjoyed as children and as adults.